Hi everyone, welcome to the first tutorial in my co-home series. Uh, I am excited to take you through everything you need to know about this amazing platform and how it can transform your interior design process. To get started, simply click the link in the description to create your free co-home account. Plus, you will get a 70% discount if you decide to upgrade later. Once your account is set up, you will see a button in the top right corner labeled Workspace. Click on it and it will take you to where all your projects are stored. From there, just click create a new uh, project to begin. So this is what the workspace of Cohome looks like. Uh, and I'm not going to explain any of these tools or lists because based on my experience, the best way to learn any software is to directly start working on a real project, which is exactly what we are going to do. So to start, let's just head over to import a floor plan and then uh, click on generate, uh, recognize and generate. And what this is going to do is basically, it's going to read uh, your floor plan and create the walls, doors and windows uh, directly. So recognize and generate, and then you select the plan. And by the way, you can find uh, this file in the link in the description. So just click auto recognition. And here we are, you can see that it's automatically created the, the floor, the walls and doors. You just need to select this door and mirror it. Let's do the same with this one. Uh, from here, you can adjust the height of your uh, floor plan and I'm going to make it three meters, which is basically 3000 millimeters. Let's start make some adjustment here. I'd like to remove this wall, so let's just bring it down here. And we can see in the plan we have some openings here, but Kuhom uh, automatically generated the walls. So just select the split tool from the edit list and uh, start cutting the wall. Exactly like this. And then we can simply select the parts that we don't need and simply delete them. So this is how the plan looks uh, so far. Don't worry about these Chinese names or whatever. It's just the name of the space where you can just uh, select it and uh, you can choose uh, the name of the space from this list or you can write it manually here. For me, I would like to keep all my workspace clean, so I'm going to hide all of this information. And to do so, just click on the eye icon and uncheck these boxes. Wall dimension and invisible. Let's switch to the 3D and see how our 3D model looks like. You can see that it's automatically placed the windows and uh, and doors but i don't like the windows so i am going to delete them and place them again uh, from the floor plan to do so just go to the construction list then window and select floor to seal in windows And you'll have a huge list that you can just uh, let's let's go with this one for this part. You just need to select it and place it on the wall and to adjust its dimensions, just select it and adjust it from the left and right. And you can see here how it looks in the 3D. Let's select another one for the living room area. Yes, let's go with this one. Again, select it and adjust its dimensions. Let's go back to the 3D and see how it looks. Perfect. 
and uh, let's place a sliding door in this part which is going to separate the the bedroom from the living room so let's just go back to the floor plan and this time we are going to select a sliding door from the doors so click on sliding door and let's maybe okay let's go with this one oops it looks like we need to adjust the wall make it longer so it will be placed so let's go with this one again place it and boom it works from the 3d view let's check how it looks i think i need to uh, flip it on the other side now it's better and here we can adjust its dimension so i'm going to keep it like uh, two meters and a half high let's go back uh, to the 2d view and now what i am going to do is i am going to create a layout uh, just to show you how the studio is going to be so I'm going to uh, place the furniture cabinet uh, so you can get an idea of what we are going to do in uh, this tutorial series and to do so just head over to layout and here you will get all the furniture cabinets wherever that we can place in our plan so Let's just select an L-shaped sofa. Yes, I will go with this one. Rotate it. And place it. Let's adjust its dimension a bit. So it won't take too much of the space. A coffee table and let's maybe scale it a bit this is where the dining room table is going to be I'm going to scale it down a bit yes a bit the closet basically the goal of this layout in the initial part of uh, your project where you can create a quick uh, layout to show to your client and discuss the placement of furniture uh, and uh, functionalities wherever and i'm going to place another cabinet here for the laundry just scale it and for the kitchen let's just place yes this is basically where the kitchen cabinet is going to be and i'm going to place two other cabinets on the wall one is for the tv cabinet that is going to be here and the other one is another cabinet that will serve for the dining table. Okay, okay. let's just select one of these. It's just for uh, the purpose of showing you how it's going to look. And I'd like to keep it aligned with this wall. Let's place another one. and here we need to adjust the the length of this wall and for the bathroom we'll do it on a later stage uh, on another tutorial and maybe we need to place uh, another carpet here uh, home decor Yeah, let's just create a carpet, rotate it, adjust its dimensions, and then we just need to select it and 
move it to the bottom. So this is basically what we are going to do in uh, this tutorial. I hope you guys find this uh, tutorial helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bell uh, for the next videos and see you soon in the next tutorial.